back in August, my wife and I had the chance to visit several places in Europe, and one of those places was Berlin, Germany. And of all the places that we went, Berlin was easily among my favorite. Uh, it's just a really neat place. There just there's a weight to it. Uh, if that doesn't sound too corny, um, and I just it's hard to explain. But if you ever get the chance, uh, I recommend going. Um, I was really apprehensive about traveling. Uh, it was the first time I I had ever been, and in, in, in my wife had ever been out of the country, but uh, it, we had a great time. And uh, like I said, Berlin was one of my favorite. Uh, Venice, of course, was my was my wife's. Um, anyway, we did a lot of walking around in uh, Berlin, and one of the things that uh, we saw a lot of was their pedestrian traffic signals. And they have the this character called the Ampleman, Please don't crucify me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, but it's just a neat way of conveying, to me, of conveying information. It's somewhat whimsical. You know, you have this piece of industrial equipment and you've got this sort of whimsical guy in a hat walking. Um, so anyway, I really wanted to bring one of the, the Berlin uh, traffic uh, signals home with me, but uh, I couldn't find any legitimate way of doing that. And anyway, getting it in my suitcase would have been problematic. So, uh, fast forward to my birthday, and my wife uh, went back to the same antique store where I got my regular traffic light that I showed in a video uh, recently, and got this uh, US uh, walk, don't walk uh, signal that had this traditional sort of uh, signals, the hand and then the, the walking figure, um, which I'm not sure where that is right now, but anyway, her idea was that maybe I could take uh, these uh, symbols out and make up my own um, inserts so that I could have a pseudo uh, Berlin, Germany, uh, walk, don't walk symbol with the ample man. And so that's what I did. And in order to do that, um, I used uh, some of this um, plastic, as you saw in the video. This is just the um, sort of plastic that you get for your uh, lights, your fluorescent lights. Um, it's got one really rough side and a side that's uh, still rough but smoother and uh, cut out the figures on some vinyl and stuck that uh, on the plastic. Um, cutting the plastic you just use, as you saw in the video, you just use, it's a, it's a plexiglass cutter um, and you just got to be careful. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, these weren't, um, which is actually why I decided to, as you saw in the video, to um, silicone them in rather than using the clips um, just because it helped uh, that black silicone helped cover up any sort of imperfections or anything like that um, so and then on top of this um, because it wasn't the light wasn't quite diffuse enough uh, for my liking I put a piece of sanded uh, polycarbonate or uh, plexiglass uh, over that as you saw in the video just to help uh, diffuse the light a little bit more um, like I said, I cut out the figures um, on the vinyl cutter. One thing I could have done, um, I almost tried it, but I wasn't sure how good paint would stick, but was to uh, cut this figure out and then paint uh, using it as a stencil and then paint uh, black, like matte black paint on the plastic and then you can take this off to have the figure. Not sure how well paint would stick to this. Um, that's kind of how, almost how these look like there is, there, is it's some sort of paint or something like that. Um, but what's cool about this plastic, um, and I think this was my wife's idea, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, is that this texture matches the texture, or nearly matches the texture that's on there, so it doesn't just look like it's a flat piece of plastic. It has some texture to it, which is um, neat. So one thing about the Ample Man character is that it is copyrighted. So unfortunately, I can't share the files that I used uh, to make these, to cut these, the, the, the vinyl out on the Cricut. Um, the walking Ample Man is available on the ampleman.de website. They're the ones that own the copyright. Um, it's available as an EPS download. Weirdly enough, they don't offer the Don't Walk uh, Ample Man as a download for EPS, so I had to do some digging for that. Um, and I found something that was close enough, I brought in an illustrator, converted it to um, a vector, and then was able to use that so I could scale it up to the proper size and then cut it out on the thing. So anyway, so just keep that in mind, this is copyrighted. Um, this is for my personal use, I'm not selling it, I'm not distributing the files that I used. So anyway. Okay, so here's a little closer view of the 
light. There's the don't walk. And if you open this up, it's actually two halves. So you've got the half where uh, I guess the electronics would have gone or whatever. And then you've got this half, which uh, has the actual light. Now I just used um, party lights, red and a green one um, for these. So uh, that made it easy. Um, here you can see the uh, the sanded uh, plexiglass. And then like I said, I just uh, siliconed everything in if I wanted, if I needed to or wanted to uh, take this out, it'd be easy just to uh, score that or, or rip it out or whatever. It wouldn't be that big of a deal because um, this isn't quite the same. First off, this plexiglass wasn't quite big enough to be captured by the uh, clips that get screwed in right here. And then also it's not quite thick enough. So I would have had to add some to thicken it up. So anyway, so siliconing up sort of the lazy way of doing it. The other thing you'll notice is that the top one has this convex uh, or concave mirror, parabolic uh, mirror, uh, and it only came, the light only came with one, and it really does help um, sort of make the light a lot more even. Um, so i trying to find this, I didn't even try, um, and uh, getting one made would probably be really cost costly. So uh, as sort of just a stop gap, I just put some aluminum uh, tape uh, on the green, green one, and it actually does help. Um, it actually does make quite a bit of difference having that, uh, just especially on the back, having it uh, reflect uh, some of that light back to help uh, even up the spread on the front. So the electronics are basically exactly the same as uh, for my regular traffic signal. Um, I've got an AT Tiny and then some uh, small relays to turn the lights on and off, five volt power supply. And then there is a mode button because this does have a couple of different, few different modes. And then uh, the on and off switch, which is just like on the regular traffic signal, just a soft off. It doesn't actually turn any of this off. It just keeps the lights from coming on. So yeah, and then this top part is basically just empty. And for mounting it, I went simple. Uh, I didn't make any sort of weird mount with pipe or anything. I just have some angled pieces of two by four uh, against the wall and then mounted the light to that. So let me close this back up and I will show you the different modes. Okay, so here are the different modes for uh, for the light. Uh, this first one is just the regular mode where it just uh, switches between the two uh, signals uh, every 10 seconds. And then this next one is the flashing mode for each one. And then just the solid for each one. So it just, it'll just stay on that. And it would just stay on that. And then both on solid. And then there's the sort of random or glitch mode, just like on my uh, regular traffic light. And then back to the solid. And then of course there's a switch back there that I can flip and it turns them off. And then when you go back on, it goes back into the default mode. So that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.